In this video, I'm going to build a greenhouse that is much more affordable than buying one while still being large and robust. This spring, I began laying the foundations for my project. I chose to use column foundations to raise the entire structure about 20 to 30 centimeters above the ground. I used a laser to ensure the columns were aligned at the correct height. After compacting the bottom of the hole, I enjoyed the task of mixing concrete by hand using one 40 kilogram bag per hole. The rebar was aligned with a tensioned cord and I periodically checked for straightness using a long wooden plank. Each column was filled with concrete to a depth of at least 50 centimeters. Finally, I double-checked the alignment. To prevent the columns from staying so oddly orange, I sprayed the first 10 centimeters with concrete paint. The rest will be covered with soil later. Then I started installing the wooden posts. I used a large drill to pre-drill and easily fasten the thick bolts. I also checked to see if everything was still straight and corrected if necessary. After quickly finishing the remaining posts, this is how it looks now. I used four meter long beams for the roof trusses. Meanwhile, I pre-sawed the posts to make it easier to attach the roof beams. I aligned the roof trusses to create a 75 centimeter overhang at the front, which will help keep the area in front of the greenhouse dry in the future. I used thick bolts for fastening, the same ones I used for the posts. You can secure them tightly with a nut so that nothing moves. This is what it looks like after all four roof trusses are installed. I began attaching the roof battens, leaving a small gap on each side. I maintained a 40 centimeter gap between the roof battens, ensuring consistency by pre-cutting a suitable piece of wood. I placed the middle roof battens between the outer roof battens, creating a visually appealing pattern. For the roof itself, I used selected plastic. To secure the roof, use round plastic parts that match the roof's shape. The backing parts may move when you screw them, so screw them to the wood first or hold them in place while screwing. As a tip, I use a soldering iron to melt a small hole in the roof beforehand so that you don't create a crack when screwing or drilling. This is what it looks like with the complete roof installed. And now before we continue with the greenhouse, I prepare the ground with a layer of cardboard, branches, and mulch. Lay pipes and cables, 
and install an irrigation system for the first plants. The rest of the greenhouse will be built in the next video. Subscribe to the channel.